what is up YouTube, I have a video for you doing some stuff about uh, computers and custom builds and sometimes if you guys want to consider it that way, possibly the mid end to the high end and maybe for you guys that want to go a little bit over your budget, maybe some low end computers, but really this is a nice setup for almost any computer. Uh, I have an i5 processor right here, um, so it is, as I said, not the most expensive. Uh, I'll have all the prices down below in the video description, but it's a fairly nice processor. Um, it has completely unlocked, so it's an i5 2500K LGA1155, so it's a pretty nice processor for what you're actually getting uh, when you buy it. And it's uh, actually, the cool thing about it, I'm not going to actually say the cool thing about it is the processor itself. The great thing about it is the warranty. I bought this at Micro Center, and for those of you guys that are computer techs and stuff like that, you probably know what Micro Center is. But Micro Center is basically the place where you get all your computer parts, all that stuff, kind of like Newegg, except they don't ship out. It's a physical store where you go to them and they have all that stuff and this processor was 3.3 gigahertz and had a 6 megabyte cache so I thought it would be pretty good for what I'm building I'm building I'd say maybe a little bit under a two thousand dollar machine and it should last me a couple of years to say the least but the two-year warranty on this thing is great if I break it and they don't even care in which way I break it they will completely replace it and depending on the time that I buy it if there's already a newer model of this exact model that I have right here they will not only replace it but they will also upgrade it and I will have a better model for absolutely no cost at all unless it's like tax and stuff but it's a two-year warranty and this should last you at least two years and unless you do something stupid with this, like overclock it to 10 gigahertz, there should not be anything wrong with this because it is a pretty good processor. So you shouldn't do stuff that makes it purposely die. But if you're just wondering and you do happen to do something like that by, like, say, doing some weird stuff and for some reason overclocking it way too much, it burns out, you'll be able to get a full upgrade on it. Uh, so that's what's cool about Micro Center. That's why I recommend going there. Uh, they do have, I believe, a cheaper price than Newegg, so that's why I went there. Uh, yes, uh, you cannot ship out from Micro Center. So if you're wondering, no, you will not be able to. So that's what is the only problem with Micro Center, but otherwise, pretty nice. So we'll get on to the uh, motherboard now. This is an MSI Z68A GD65 uh, G3. So it's got a bunch of fancy logos, I guess. Uh, Five-year warranty. So the five-year warranty is really nice. Uh, so military class two and stuff like that. So they have a lot of unnecessary labels, I guess you could stay on this. But they have a ton of labels and has... HDMI obviously, DVI, all that stuff, uh, so this should suit you fairly well, and it's a fairly large motherboard as motherboards go, uh, well not fairly large, I'd say medium, too large, it's not like a huge uh, motherboard, like I believe there is a classified motherboard out there that's just humongous, um, I think classified is the name of it, but this isn't some major macho one, but mine will fit most likely in my case because I have a huge case. I have the NZXT Phantom, so it should fit even though it is a large motherboard uh, in my opinion. Uh, so we got cables here. This is where all your cables are going to be routed out to. Uh, yes, you do actually have three, a USB 3.0, so USB 3.0 is really nice to have. Speeds everything up, but um, only problem with it, well not a problem, it's just that hardly any device nowadays is USB 3.0 so most devices aren't USB 3.0 but it doesn't really matter that much so we have a bunch of pamphlets we got tons of cables so it's just a lot of cables uh, that's the USB 3.0 so I don't know if you guys can see that but that does say USB 3.0 uh, yeah you guys probably can't see that but that is USB 3.0 which is really nice uh, they have a lot of cables um, so they have tons of pamphlets. I have, I think they have two user guides, 
one for just understanding it and installing stuff and the other ones like software uh, so this is the quick installation guide so a lot of paper stuff five-year warranty that's the that's the verification thing uh, so that's what it is you also do have a bunch of other cables <laughs> so a lot of stuff there and this is just the two user manuals one over there I believe is just for installation the other one is software application so it, you, it basically covers everything I'd say it's not too hard to do this uh, then you have like some kind of pins here I don't really know what they do because I haven't built the computer yet and uh, while I'm talking about this if you guys are wondering I will be building a computer next week so I have all the parts I got all my graphics card got aftermarket coolers all that stuff uh, that's the SLI, I think, transfer for the video card or something like that. Um, so that's what you're going to do. That's from MSI. And you, I'm hoping those are twist ties. Correct me if I'm wrong, but those kind of look like twist ties. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong again because this is my first computer build. Then we have just like, uh, that said remove here. So that is probably some kind of cover for the, uh, processor that is drivers and utilities DVD and that's just a receipt that you guys probably don't care about so lifting up the cardboard yes I already did install the processor if you guys are wondering so that is why you might be wondering why there is a ton of stuff there so there is the processor installed uh, pretty not that heavy of a mother of a motherboard but it's pretty large I'd say maybe foot or something like that maybe a foot and a half I didn't exactly measure it but judging it's a like it's a square and it's fairly large so I was able to judge that you have HDMI all the stuff you would expect with your standard motherboard uh, for two hundred dollars which is what this costs it's not it's not like overdoing it but it's it's definitely passing expectations in my opinion uh, so